It sure is going to be a long, hectic day for the former president as well as state prosecutors. Thanks for that report, Semin. We appreciate it. And now we go over to the Seoul Central uh, Prosecutor's Office where our Hwang Ojun is standing by. The office will be Park's destination in around three and a half hours from now. Hwang Ojun, this is a critical moment for the ex-president. What's the atmosphere like there right now? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, the eyes, once again, the eyes of a nation will be fixed here at this whole dis, uh, central district prosecutor's office located in southern Seoul, not too far from Park's private home. Reporters and camera crews that have been granted exclusive access beforehand by the office have been preparing for the arrival of Park geun since before the crack of dawn. As Hemin mentioned, uh, Park, the country's first democratically elected leader to be ousted, is set to show up at 9.30 a.m. to undergo the process prosecution's interrogation. Questioning Park is only possible now. Uh, she no longer has her uh, presidential immunity, which she lost when the Constitutional Court upheld an impeachment motion against her over the sprawling corruption scandal that continues to grip Korea. She faces 13 charges, eight filed by the prosecution, and five charges additionally filed by an independent counsel, including bribery, abuse of authority, and leaking state secrets. Park has denied all 13 charges. Now, the big question is whether the state prosecutors will seek an arrest warrant. Usually, an arrest warrant is issued to prevent the destruction of evidence or when there are concerns the suspect might be a flight risk. Some argue a warrant is unnecessary as there's low possibility of Park fleeing since she's the former president. On the other hand, others insist an arrest warrant is inevitable given the severity of the charges and Park's continued denial of them despite the arrests and indictments of most of her alleged accomplices. But as the prosecutors haven't confirmed anything, we'll have to see what happens. Right, and it's going to be a historic day and one filled with tension. Ho Jun, can, can you walk us through what we should expect today from what we know so far? Absolutely. Before entering the building, Park will make a brief stop behind the press line where reporters will shout out questions. Now, Park is expected to deliver a prepared message there, but we have no idea what she plans on saying or if she will respond to any questions. From there, she is expected to head to the 13th floor where she will have a short meeting with the uh, ranking officials from the special probe team before her actual interrogation. The interrogation will likely take place in the investigation room on the 10th floor, equipped with video and audio recording facilities. Park is summoned as a criminal suspect, so her Miranda rights will be read as well. Now, the prosecution uh, is expected to fire a plethora of questions regarding uh, the allegations and the questioning is likely to go uh, past midnight. So it's going to be a long day for the former president. Back to you, Tia.